Hi, welcome to the first video in the ADLM 2000 series. I'm Christina, and in this video, I'll go over box contents and then describe the hardware details, major features and capabilities. The ALM stands for Active Learning Module, and the device is an easy to use, portable lab instrument, which enables engineering students, enthusiasts and hobbyists to explore, measure and interact with analog and digital electronic circuits. Also referred to as the M2K, the module, small enough to fit in a shirt pocket, is completely self-contained and entirely USB powered. Opening the box, you will find the ADLM 2000 module, the USB cable, analog and digital flywires, and square pins for plugging into a breadboard. On one end of the device's case, you will find two USB connectors. You will use the one in the middle when you connect the module to the computer. When the M2K is powered to the second USB connector, the center connector can operate as a USB host and the flash drive or wireless Ethernet adapter can be connected. On the other end, there's a 30-pin header along with the pinout diagram printed on the case. This is where we'll connect the flywires. The wires are color-coded according to which instrument they are used with. The analog section of the ADLM2000 is made up of a 10-pin socket with 10 corresponding wires. The first two pairs of cables form two differential analog input channels used by analog signal acquisition tools like the oscilloscope or the spectrum analyzer. Channel 1 pins are labeled 1 plus and 1 minus on the pinout diagram and are connected to the orange and orange and white wire. Channel 2 pins are labeled 2 plus and 2 minus and are connected to the blue and blue and white wire. The third pair of black wires is connected to ground. The following pair is comprised of the positive power supply, marked V+, ranging from 0 to plus 5 volts and connected to the red wire, and the negative power supply, marked V-, ranging from 0 to minus 5 volts and connected to the white wire. Both supplies may provide up to 50 milliamps of current. The final pair in the analog section is the two independent single-ended analog outputs. These are labeled W1 and connected to the yellow wire, and W2 and connected to the yellow and white wire. These have the purpose of generating analog signals in the signal generator or network analyzer tools. The 20-pin socket, with its 20 wires, is connected to the digital input-output section of the M2K. The first pair consists of two black ground wires, while the second pair is made up of two digital triggers. The trigger in is labeled TI and is connected to the grey wire, and the trigger out is labeled TO and is connected to the grey and white wire. These are used in the oscilloscope and logic analyzer tools. The remainder pins are digital I.O. pins used for the logic analyzer, the bus analyzer, static I.O., and the digital pattern generator tools. The M2K's hardware is controlled by Scopy, a powerful cross-platform software application that implements the following test instruments. Voltmeters. Digital oscilloscope, spectrum analyzer, power supplies, function generator, arbitrary waveform generator, two port network analyzer. Digital Logic Analyzer with Bus Analyzer 
digital pattern generator and digital static inputs outputs. The stills shown are from the current graphical interface of Scopy. Over time, these may improve. This concludes the unboxing video for the ADLM 2000. The next three videos will handle the installation process for Scopy on Windows, Mac and Linux. After that, we'll cover each instrument in detail in its own video. Finally, we'll introduce LibM2K, a full-featured software API which allows you to write your own programs for the M2K in C++, C Sharp or Python. It also provides bindings for MATLAB and LabVIEW. For additional resources and information on the ADLM 2000 module and Scopy, please visit wiki.analog.com. Here you can find detailed guides on how to get started, hardware schematics, pinout diagrams, tutorials for each instrument, and lastly, practical activities and lab exercises to be done with the module. Technical support for the M2K and Scopy is available on the Engineer Zone forum in the virtual classroom section. You'll find links to these pages as well as helpful pages from our wiki in the video description. Thank you for watching.